Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on longitude and latitude. In this video, we'll be calculating distances along great circles. So we take our first problem. Problem one, two points lie on the equator. Their longitude are respectively 102 degrees west and 43 degrees east. Calculate their distance apart along the equator. Take R to be 6,400 kilometers and pi to be 22 over 7, where R is the radius of the Earth. So we start the solution of the problem. It is always advisable to sketch the diagram to locate the two points on the Earth's surface. The Earth is assumed to be spherical and uh, we have to identify the north and the south pole this is the center of the earth so we have our equator which is always um, zero degrees so this is a circle so it's now looking 3d it's looking spherical now then um their longitude are respectively 102 degrees west and 43 degrees east so we draw the longitude zero degrees then we now have the longitude 102 degrees west then the one 43 degrees east this is longitude 43 degrees east so if you look at it the first point is this this is the equator and this is the longitude of 102 degrees west. The point of intersection gives the first point, we name it A. Then also the point of intersection of equator and longitude 43 degrees is, is this point, we name it as B. And uh, if you look at this, this is the center, this is the radius of the Earth and it forms a sector of a circle it forms a sector of a circle that is AOB so we are going to find the length of the arc AB and we still remember our formula the AB is theta over 362 pi r where this big r is the radius of the earth so first and foremost we need to calculate theta so to calculate our theta which is the angular difference between the longitude of A and B. Since the longitude of A is in the west and that of B is in the east, so we are going to add their longitude to get the angular difference. So we now have it as 102 degrees plus 43 degrees, which gives 145 degrees. We are adding because they are in different regions, west and east. If they are both in west, would have subtracted, or if they are both in east, would have also subtracted to get their angular difference referred to as theta here. So our AB is going to be theta 145 over 360 times 2 times 22 over 7 that is pi then times 6400 if you input this on the calculator we are going to have 16203.2 kilometers and we can round it off to three significant figures 1 2 3 which is going to give us 16200 kilometers which is the distance between the two points along the equator. Equator is a great circle. That's what we just need to know. Equator is the only great circle among the parallel of latitude. So we go for the next problem. Problem two, the position of London and Accra to the nearest degrees are respectively 51 degrees north, 0 degrees, and 5 degrees north, 0 degree. 
Um, we cannot say zero degree east or west because that is the Greenwich meridian or prime meridian. The prime meridian like equator are always zero degrees. So in our solution, we still sketch the two points that is London and Accra on the Earth's surface. So we have the equator zero degrees. Then there are common longitude, which is zero degrees, which is the Greenwich Meridian is located here. This is drawn. And uh, since the two places are in the north, so we have, we need five degrees north. So we have the parallel of latitude, five degrees north, and the parallel of latitude, 51 degrees north. So the two points are both in the north. We're going to calculate the distance along this longitude. All distances along longitude are great circles. All distances along longitude are distances along great circles. But for the parallel of latitude, it is only equator that is a great circle. So, we then go ahead to locate point A, which is Accra, 5 degrees north and 0 degrees. Then, uh, we have London. This is the point, 51 degrees north and uh, 0 degrees. So, we locate the point and name it L. So, we are still going to, again, measure along longitude, which is a great circle. We locate from the point here. This is the radius of the earth, radius of the earth. So it's still going to form an arc of a circle. AL is an arc of a circle with the formula theta over 360 2 pi r. So that our theta again, we need to calculate it. Since they are in the same region, not not, we are going to subtract. 51 degrees minus 5 degrees, which gives 46 degrees. So that the distance between Accra and London represented as AL along this longitude of 0 degrees. We'll have it as theta, which is 46 over 360 times 2 times 22 over 7, then times 6400, which is the radius of the earth. So in putting this in our calculator, we have 5,140.3 kilometers. And to three significant figures, we have 5,140 kilometers, which is the approximate distance between London and Accra. This is just for the purpose of this calculation. We have not actually verified the actual distance so we go to problem three for problem three two places q and r both lie on the equator and their longitudes are 153.5 degrees west and 134.3 degrees east respectively calculate the shorter distance between q and r in our solution we still sketch we have the North Pole and the South Pole, the center of the Earth. They both lie on the equator. So we have the equator. So we have this as the Greenwich Meridian. And to the left, we have it as 153.5 degrees west. This point, which is the point of intersection of the equator and longitude 153, 0.5 degrees west will give us a point Q. Then for 134.3 degrees east, we locate the point of its intersection with the equator as point R. Again, we are calculating along the equator. Calculation along the equator is a great circle. Our formula still remain as QR equal theta over 360 times 2 pi R. Then to calculate our theta, if you look at this, 
they are both at different regions and we are meant to add if you add the two it's going to give you something greater than 180 degrees which means that cannot be the shorter distance because the whole angle is 360 degrees you still remember angle at a point or angle in a circle is 360 degrees so if we now have more than half of it which is 180 it means the other end is going to give us the shorter distance what we do is we add them up and take it away from 360 to get the shorter angle so we have 360 minus the sum of 153.5 degrees and 134.3 so pressing our calculator we have 72.2 degrees we can go ahead to calculate the distance qr which is 72.2 degrees over 360 times 2 times 22 over 7 times 6400 pressing our calculator we have qr to be 8068.1 kilometers and to three significant figures i can have it as 8070 kilometers this represents the shorter distance between q and r and we've done justice to problem three we then go to problem four for problem four calculate the distance between p and q whose positions are 43 degrees north, 21.3 degrees west, and 27 degrees south, 21.3 degrees west, respectively. That is, the point for P is this, and the point for Q is this. How far is P from the north pole? So, there are two questions here. So, we start with the first part of the problem by sketching we still have our equator to be zero degrees so we get their longitudes which is 43 degrees north and 27 degrees south so the first one is in the northern hemisphere 43 degrees north and the second one is at the southern hemisphere which is 27 degrees south we then draw the common longitude which is 21.3 degrees west so we have it as 21.3 degrees west it is not always compulsory you draw the greenwich meridian okay so we can just go straight to get our longitude and um, the point p is in the north so we have it here call it p and the point Q is in the south, which is this point. This is Q. The two points are obtained from the points of intersection of their respective latitude and the common longitude. So this is still a great circle. It's still calculation along great circle. We then calculate the angular difference since they are in different locations one is in the north and one is in the south we are going to add that's 43 plus 27 degrees giving us 70 degrees that's the angular difference so that's pq is theta over 360 that's 70 over 360 times 2 pi r times 2 times 22 over 7 times 6400 and uh, from our calculator we have it as 7822.2 kilometers three significant figures we have 7820 kilometers that is the first part of the problem how far is p from the north pole remember the north pole is 90 degrees north we call this point as n p n is also forming a sector along a grid circle we still apply the same formula theta over 362 pi r before we have to calculate the theta we call that one theta 2 
since they are both in the north we are going to subtract 90 degrees minus 43 degrees and that gives 47 degrees so that pn now will be 47 over 360 times 2 times 22 over 7 times 6400 then pressing our calculator we have it as 5252.1 kilometers and to three significant figures we have 5250 kilometers which represent the distance of the point p from the north pole and that's all for problem four and this is the highest we can take in this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it please like and share this video also remember to subscribe to our youtube channel please check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get the link to the playlist to other videos on longitude and latitude until we come your way again goodbye